When given the opportunity to lead, you lead. Not shall I, can I, am I ready, am I not ready? Is this for me, is my karma right? Are those stars aligned? Is my nervous system aligned? Is this is, go is good? Are my stars aligned? Are my biorhythms aligned? Am I in optimal position? Is my mitochondria firing off? When given the opportunity to lead, if you're a bag of shit on the bar on the ground and spirit, life, the circumstance calls you to lead, you stand up and you lead. Because leadership is from your soul, from your heart. It's not about commanding anyone. It's about calling them into something that has higher meaning, calling them into something, awakening them into something by their own natural disposition, awakens their spirit to move towards whatever you're guiding towards. So the number one weakness we have regarding leadership is, oh, am I ready? Who knows what I'm talking about? What if you are never ready? What if readiness has nothing to do with your actual capacity to lead. It's just your willingness to listen to the breeze of the moment, the call of the moment. In other words, what must you do to live, love, and die complete so you live without regret? Well, if you can answer that every day, you're leading your life. And if you're leading your life, you'll be an inspiration and other people will want to follow. What must I do to live, love, and die complete without regret? How many of us live that way? Usually we're living with a little bit of regret every day, accumulating a little of what could have been, should have been, how I could have lived. Who knows what I'm talking about? Even 1% of that, you're shooting yourself in the foot. 99% or less is a slow drip poison. 100% in is absolute freedom and it's absolute ease. 99% or less is struggle. So on that note, give me a couple of minutes. We'll get